What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial on Swift programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the print function to print stuff on the screen. So let's get started. In my previous tutorials we were using the playground, now we're going to create a new project. So first thing you need to do is click on your Xcode, I have Xcode 6 beta. Uh, if you guys have the full version, that's fine, depending on when you watch this video. If you have a higher number version, that's fine. So I'm going to click on this here. But uh, if you're watching the videos uh, right around the time I'm making them, you need the beta because they haven't released the full version yet. So we're going to click on uh, Create a New Xcode Project. Click on that. And uh, we have two options here. We have iOS and OS X. I'm not focusing on either or. Uh, I just uh, want, want to show you how to program in Swift. And I think the easiest way to do it is under the OS X applications. Then we're going to click on Command Line Tool. Later on, I'm going to get into more of uh, iOS and OS X actual uh, app programming. But this tutorial series is only focused on Swift programming. So again, we're going to under OS X, we're going to make sure our application is highlighted. So we're going to click on application. Then we're going to click on command line. Then we're going to click on next. Now we're going to give our application a name. I'll call mine test three. You can name it whatever you want. And uh, we're going to make sure that Swift is selected under the language. I think by default, uh, objective C is selected like this, uh, but you have to change it to Swift. Make sure Swift is the language. So then we're going to click on next. Now we've got to select a location we want to save our file or our project. I chose the document. You could choose whatever you want. So I'm going to click on Create. And this is the project here. We're going to be working with this main.swift file. This is the actual Swift programming file we're going to be programming with and editing. So uh, by default, they give you a little bits of code here. This part's here, a comment. I'm going to talk more about this import foundation later on. And this is actual print statement we're going to be using. So let me delete this for now so I can go over it from the beginning. Now, if we want to print, actually let's delete this too. We don't need this here. And uh, let's delete this import foundation. I'll talk more about that later on. Now let's create a few variables. I showed you one of my tutorials how to declare variables. So let's declare a variable and print it out on the screen, right? So let's type in var, right? Let's call our variable red. And let's make this a string value. So let's say red equals a string value, so two double quotes. Inside of two double quotes, I'm going to type in uh, this is a test, right? So we declared a variable. Our variable name is red. It has a string data type, and we gave it the string value of this is a test. So how do we print this out on the screen? It's easy. We use the print ln. It's similar to like print line in Java, but I'll show you how it works. It's P-R-I-N-T. So we type in print ln, right? open and close parentheses. Now inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in the variable name we want to print out on the screen. So our variable name is red, so I'm going to type in red. So now let's test it out. Let's hit play. I'm going to hit play here. Build succeeded and it printed out. This is a test as you can see down here. Pretty cool, right? So let's uh, change the value of red. Let's make it a integer value instead of a string value. We could do that by, again, just deleting the value. And, and deleting the double quotes. And uh, let's give it a value of five. This is an integer value of five. So well, let's print it out on screen. Let's hit play up here again. Build succeeded. And as you can see down here, it printed out five. Now, again, I showed you my last tutorial. There are different ways you can declare a variable. Let me just uh, show you again, just in case you guys forgot. Uh, we can use the actual word var space, the variable name, equals then the the value, the value alone will let, will let the program know if it's a string, integer, or a double, or whatever, just by whatever value you give it. Since we, since we give it a value of 5 with no uh, single quotes or double quotes, it knows that this is an integer value of 5. And since it has no decimal point, it knows it's an integer. If it had a decimal point, it would be a double. So again, let's print this out on the screen, and let's hit play. Build succeeded and it printed out five again. All right, so let's go over something else. Let's uh, let's delete this here. We, if we want, we could just uh, print out a message on the screen without uh, declaring any variables. Inside this open and close parentheses of this print function, we could use a set of double quotes, right? Inside this set of double quotes, we could type a message and it'll just print that message on the screen. So I'll, I'll print this is a test again, right? So let's hit play. 
build succeeded and it printed out this is a test again. All right, guys, let's say we wanted to print the value of five along with this here. Let's delete this here first. I'm gonna delete this and I wanna type in the number is I'm gonna hit space, right? Let's say we wanted to print out uh, the, the value of integer five next to that. Uh, we can do that. Um, all we have to do is uh, add hit space again, because remember space is a um, character. We have to add backslash, and this has to be done within the double quote here. So right before this closing double quote, we're gonna type in this backslash, then open a close parentheses, right? Right next, so inside this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in our variable name, what variable we wanna pass through. So I wanna pass through variable red, so I'll type in red. So now, again, uh, what we're doing is we type the message with a string. Inside the the string, we're still inside the string here. We we hit we hit space. We added this backslash, right? Then uh, we added open and close parentheses. We didn't hit space after the backslash. Remember that's important. Right before this closing double quote here. Then inside the opening and close parentheses, we added a uh, variable name that we want to pass through. Since we declared a variable red up here, I want to pass variable red. So let's see what happens. So let's hit play here. Build succeeded. And down here, as you can see, it printed out the number is five. Pretty cool, right? So this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.